Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on large and small numbers. So we start with large numbers. 1000. 1000 has three zeros. So 1000. Then we go for 1 million. 1 million is 1000 thousand, which means it's going to have six zeros. That is, if you multiply 1,000 by 1,000, you have 1 million. Then also 1 billion. 1 billion is 1,000 million. So we don't call it 1,000 million. Instead, we call it 1 billion. And it has 9 zeros. This is 1,000 million. So then the next one is 1 trillion. 1 trillion is 1,000 billion. So it's going to have 12 zeros. So you have 1,000 billion. For the purpose of this video, this is where we are going to stop. Then we now look at reading large numbers. We have the first number here. Um, we have six digits here. It is advisable you group the numbers in threes. So we have one, two, three. We group this. One, two, three. We group it. Then you now rewrite them and separate them. So that we now have 276. Give a space 489. If you look at this now, it's going to be in thousand. So that when you read it, you read it as 276,489. If you look at this, 400, this is 1,000, there is 2,000, there is 10,000, there is 100,000. So it falls in this category, 276,489. Then we have our next number. Again, we are going to group them into threes. So we have one, two, three. We group it three, nine, five. Then the next one is seven, zero, four. The remaining one is not up to three. So we still group it as two. Separating them, we have 18. Then seven, zero, four, space three, nine, five. If you are reading this now, you have one, two, three, one, two, three. This is in million. So that we now have 18 million, 704,395. There are one, two groups of threes. So two groups of three. So it's million because you can have one million, 10 million, 100 million. So this is in tens of million. That is 18,704,395. Then we take our last number. We have first three from behind, 837 forming a group of three, then 549 forming another group of three, 087 forming another group of three then we have two standing alone. So separating them, we have to give a space 087, give a space 549, and finally give a space 837. One, two, three. We have three groups of threes. One, two, three, which is going for billion. So because we can have two billion, 10 billion, 100 billion when it is getting to 1000 billion it is then we have 1 trillion so this is going to be 2 billion 87 million 549,837 so that's all for this then we go for digits and words as I mean you have very large number you can shorten it into digits and words. So we'll now take our first problem. 
Problem 1. Express each of the following as a mixture of digits and words. So we then start from the first part. Remember, um, if we put 1 here to be 1 million, so this is going to be 6 times 1 million. 6 times 1 million. Since we have 6 zeros here, remember 3 zeros is 1,000 and then another three zeros will give you 1 million. So instead of writing it as figures, we have it here. These numbers are in digits. They are in digits. So we're going to mix it together with digits and words. So we now write it as 6 million because this is 1 million. So it's 6 million. So we have written this as digits and words. So the 6 million has been written as digital word 6 million. Then we go to B. This is uh, the first group also. This is still going to be uh, first. We look at it as 310 times 1000000, zero, 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 zero. that's six zeros which is still going to take us to million. We can write it as 310 million. Also, if you divide this by 1000, we are going to have 0 0.31. So we can have it as 0 0.31 times 100 into nine places. So this is already billion. We can also write this number now as 0 0.31 billion. So that is it for the B part of the problem. You can write it as 310 million or 0 0.31 billion. So only that you cannot write this one as 0 0.006 billion. It will not make sense if the zeros are getting too much after the decimal point. So we go to the last one, which is C. From here, we have one, two, three, which is going in as billion. Um, because of this nine that we have here, it's going to be 900 something. So what we do is if you divide this by 1000, it's going to give us 8.9 times um 100 into 9 places that's billion because if you multiply 8.9 by this you are going to have this that's going to give us 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 yeah so this is now billion. We then write it as a mixture of digits and words to be 8.9 billion. So that's all for problem one. We go for problem two. Express each of the following as a digit only. So this one has been given as a mixture of digits and words mixture of digits and words. So we, we have to reverse it and write it as digits only. So problem one and two are reverse of each other. So we start from the A part of the problem. We have 4.9 trillion US dollars. Um, to do this, we multiply 4.9 by 1 trillion. That's 4.9 US dollar times this is 1,000 at three zeros, 1 million at three zeros, 1 billion at three zeros, that's giving us trillion. So the best way to do this is as good as, since we have um, one decimal place here, if you remove one zeros, you'll be left with 11 zeros. So we now have it as four nine then and add 11 zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We can then group it into threes as we have it here. 
first three starting from behind the next three zeros the next three zeros the next three group so we now have it separated in that order so four will be separated from nine zero zero and the remaining three zeros so we have it as four trillion nine hundred billion as four trillion nine hundred billion us dollars so that's all for problem 2a we go to 2b 18 million liters so we are going to multiply 18 by 1 million we multiply by this is thousand add the next zeros liters this is 18 times 1000 liters the multiplication is straightforward we just write the 18 separate it from the other three groups of uh, zeros in liters 18,000 liters that's all for b we then go for c one and a half billion barrels is written as 1.5 times 1 billion this is thousand million billion barriers so multiplying this again since we have one decimal place i'm removing one zeros from here out of nine we'll be left with eight so we now have 15 and add the remaining eight zeros one two three four five six seven eight again we group the numbers into threes one two three we group it one two three one two three we group it then we now write and separate them with space so the one is going to be separated from 500 and the rest so we have one 500 the other three zeros are being separated which can then be read as one billion five hundred million barriers so that's all for problem two and then um, from here we go to small numbers um we have special names too for small numbers and decimal numbers so that one thousand is the same thing as one over one thousand and it can be written as decimal as 0 0.001 how many zeros do we have here three and how many decimal places three decimal places that's the faster way of getting it done especially if the numerator is a digit number so that if you have 8000 now that's going to be 8 over 1000 and it's going to be 0 0.008 2000 7000 in the same way then we have 1 million 1 million is 1 over 1 million and it's going to be written as 0 0.0000001 six zeros here meaning it's going to be six decimal places one two three four five six then the last one we are going to take here is one billion which is one over one billion and uh, it's written as decimal nine decimal places with preceding zeros before the one and this is the highest we can take in these small numbers so we then solve some problem so that we have problem three express each of the following as decimal so starting from a part of the problem eighteen thousand, which is the same thing as 18 times 1 over 1000 this can be written as 18 over 1000 so since we have two digits here we can have one zero after the decimal point or we go like this um, we are dividing by 1000 so with three zeros we are going to move one two three we then put the point fill in the space with zero then we put our preceding zero before the decimal point 
18 over 1000 is equal to 0 0.018 as decimal. Then we go for B. For B, I have 291.10 million. So that's going to give us 291 times 1 over 10, then million. 1 over 10 million. This is 10 with the other six zeros. We then have it as 291 over 10 million. So we do the same way. 291, we are dividing by 10 million. Um, if it is possible to add zeros before the numbers, before you move the decimal point, so we can add zeros, as many zeros as possible before we now start to move. By moving seven steps, this is six plus one, seven. So we move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We place our point. Then the excess zeros now can be truncated so that our final answer will be 0 0.4 zeros before 291. So that's it for 291, 10 million in decimal. We go for C. This one can be written as 856,000. Thousand. The same way we are going to divide 856 by 100,000. In the same way, we add as many zeros as possible. Then we move the point. So moving the point, we have one in five steps, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five zeros, five steps. We place the point. We remove the excess zeros so that we'll now be left with only one so that we have it as 0 0.00856. There are two zeros after the decimal point before 856. That's what is reflected here. And that's all for problem three. And this is the highest we can take in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Until we come your way again, goodbye.